it's that time in the show where we go to the Academy Sports and Outdoors Rigs and Techniques here at the CCA Workbench. Dave, yes, sir. let's talk about what we're going to do when we get on our pier or on our jetty. Well, you know, it's a great place for people to start fishing and, and you know, to get a family out there. You usually have a lot of room. You know, some of the places we're talking about, piers and, and some of the bridges. Jetties can be a little tar hard to take a family on just because of the rock situation and whatnot. But anytime you're fishing in these, these uh, areas, we're going to be, first thing we're going to worry about is a little bit about the tide. These are all tidal zones, you know, in the surf and around the inlets and stuff. So tide plays a big part. Try to figure out when the fish are biting in your area on what tides and try to go then. Uh, usually high tide is best for piers and, and stuff like that on the, on the, on the coastline. Uh, a uh, jetty can be any time. It can be a low tide bite or a high tide bite, but usually piers and stuff, you want the, the water to be up so you can get a lot of water underneath you when you're fishing. Um, we want to take a, a lot of stuff. So nowadays we can w carry backpacks and they have carts and stuff. Right. So you can, you, you know, when I was doing it, we put everything in five gallon buckets and we had to carry two big buckets full of stuff, which was a lot harder and it's a little dangerous, especially if you're walking around in the jetties, you know, hopping pier, you know, hopping from rock to rock. If you have a backpack, you can always try to keep one hand free. Yeah. So one hand so that in case you fall, you have something to, you know, so carry two or three rods in one hand, all the rest of your stuff on your back. Uh, try to do it that way, therefore, or, or have some way to maybe put your rods. Some of these backpacks have little places where you can put rods on them. Right. And then you can carry a bait bucket, which we need to talk about as well later. But you need a really good pair of shoes, especially, you know, you think that the dock or the, or, or the long pier would be a good place to go with your sandals and whatnot. It's not. There's usually people throwing dead catfish around that are laying around, uh, stingrays, uh, all kinds of hooks and whatnot that are laying on a, a dock or a pier. And if you don't have good shoes, you can get stuck. And, and that's never good. And they're really important when you're hopping through the rocks on the jetties. You've got to have good footwear because you don't want to be slipping and sliding and cutting yourself. Like I said before, you want to take two rods, maybe three. Um, one for a bait rod, so you know you can use. You know, make sure you always bring something to catch you some good bait. I like you know sabiki rigs and R and R tackle makes the best ones. You put a little fish bites on there if they're not working by themselves, and you know that's catch the, your bait and have your other rod exactly, ready to go. Exactly, exactly. Have and and if you're not using bait, jigs work really well. All kinds of jigs, either uh, bucktail jigs or soft tailed. You know, if you're fishing for snook, obviously a, a, a big a big jig like the one you got there from R and R as well. They work really great for snook and even tarpon sometimes. Uh, spoons uh, and little gotchas work really good on the on the piers because you can you can just cast them a long long way and everything eats them from Spanish mackerel to bluefish. Uh, a lot of the fish that hang around a, a pier and a surf line, you can you, we can catch them on those. So you know, bring a, bring a wide variety of, and make sure you bring some wire, you know, a little bit of wire leader. I can't tell you how many times I've gone out there and the blitz of bluefish or Spanish mackerel have come through and I don't have any wire. Right. And then you're just losing stuff one after another. You what know. about handling the fish, Dave? Well, you want to make sure you have a really good, uh, uh, a lipper, especially if you're on the jetties, you, if you're getting down close to the rocks and everything, it's good to be able to get a lipper on him and hang on to him tight. The pier? An, a pier, you want to have a nice bridge net. That's or, how you, that's how you land them. Yeah, you drop this down, get it underneath the fish, and you can pull them up. You can also ha they have a bridge gaff a actually if you want to use one of those to, to use a big to, to stick something that you want to keep. Uh, make sure you have a wide variety of weights of all sizes and shapes. You know because you never know what's going to happen as far as the tide. You know you need yeah. to stay on the water. You need to you need to stay on the bottom. Uh, just to have a lot of different stuff so that anything that comes up, because uh, that's what the piers and jetties are about. It's whatever swims up, you're going to get a shot at. And be go, prepared man. to make friends. Yeah, exactly. 